three conditions in which manner develop, may develop antibodies. Blood transfusion before marriage by blood from an H person. And then if the mother negative and had blood transfusion before marriage, she is ready to develop either the, she developed antibodies or she is ready, sensitive to develop easily antibodies. Second, leakage of during pregnancy of a small amount of fetal blood. Okay. Of fetal blood are at positive into maternal circulation, placenta, hemorrhage. Three, during delivery, some blood squeezed back to maternal blood. In, an, in one of these three conditions, the mother may develop antibodies. In this condition, one of the following hemolytic diseases may occur. First, erythroblastus fetalis, mild disease. Small amount of RBCs leak into mother circulation. Some mothers develop antibodies against the D antigen. These antibodies pass to fetal blood and cause mild hemolysis of the RBCs of the fetus. This newborn can be rescued by giving him RH negative blood, but not from his mother, because in his in the mother in the mother there are antibodies. If we transfuse blood from the mother, then we can uh, uh, expose the child to more serious dangers of hemolysis and agglutination. Second, icterus gravis neonatarum, kernicterus, moderate disease. The infant is born at 10, jaundice, or becomes so within 24 hours. There may be severe neurological lesions involving the basal ganglia uh, in which the white pigments deposit. While the most severe is the high drops fetalis, severe disease. The hemolysis is severe. Infant may die in uterus or may develop severe anemia, jaundice and anemia dies within few hours. And then these three diseases may occur because of the incompatibility of the blood groups. Fortunately, this disease can be prevented by giving an RH negative mother human gamma globin against RH positive erythrocyte within 72 hours after she has delivered an RH positive infant. These antibodies bind to the antigenic sites on any RH positive erythrocyte that might have entered the mother's blood during delivery and prevent them from inducing antibody synthesis by the mother. The administered antibodies are eventually catabolized. You may be wondering whether ABO, ABO incompatibilities are also cause hemolysis disease of the newborn. For example, a woman with type O blood has natural antibodies to both A and B antigens. If her fetus is type A or B, this theoretically should cause problem. Fortunately, it usually does not, partly because of the A and B antigens are not strongly expressed in fetal erythrocyte, and partly because the natural antibodies are of the IgM type, which do not readily cross the placenta. This is the comfortable blood transfusion. You see, O can donate blood to all other blood groups and to himself or herself because there are no antigens, but this blood 
contains antibodies. It then can donate blood to all other blood groups. Therefore, this is called general donor. And AB, you see, this blood group contains both antigens, but no antibodies in the plasma. Therefore, can receive blood from the other, from all the other blood groups. Therefore, it's called general recipient. You see, when the O blood group donates to any one of the other blood groups, the antibodies present in the O blood group are diluted in the, in the blood of the uh, recipients. But this is not always general donor, because the patient cannot tolerate more than two or three bags. I, I mean cannot tolerate more than one liter blood or above liter blood. Otherwise, for sure, agglutination occurs, because the antibodies, a lot of antibodies can be transfused in the other into the blood of the other blood groups, and agglutination occurs. And then you see, general donor is not always general donor. General recipient is not general recipient. There is limitation for the blood transfusion from one group to another, unless the patient can receive blood from his blood group. And also there is limitation for this transfusion because of the other uh, dangers. These are the indications of blood transfusion. First, to restore blood volume, such as in hemorrhage. Second, to provide red blood cells in anemia. Three, to increase blood coagulability in hemo hem hemorrhagic diseases, such as hemophilia and peripheral. Four, to replace infant's blood with RH negative blood in erythroblast fetalis. Five, to supply antibodies to raise the general resistance of the body. Six, to provide white blood cells, such as in leukemia. And last, seven, to supply plasma proteins in hyperproteinemia. You see, these are the indications of the blood transfusion. There are machines now separate the components of the blood. We can uh, transfuse just RBCs or just white blood cells or just coagulation factors or just antibodies or just blood. Complications of blood transfusion. The complications either early or late. Early complications hemolytic reactions, immediate or delayed, reactions due to infected blood, allergic reactions to white blood cells, platelets or proteins, circulatory overload, air embolism, citrate toxicity, hyperkalemia, and clotting abnormality after massive transfusion. But the late complications, transmission of diseases such as hepatitis, malaria, syphilis, and AIDS, or transfusional iron overload immune sensitization to a rhesus blood group. Just a few, few points about the use of stored blood. When we take blood, to store it in the blood bank, we have to do the following point. First, the blood should be tested, grouped, and cross-matched. Just have an idea about the cross-matched. Second, the anticoagulant used is ACD, acid citrate dextrose. 
it must, it should be stored at temperature four Celsius degrees. And you have to take care or you have to be careful if when the blood is transfused. First, if there is no time to permit for grouping and cross-matching, you have to donate the blood or RH negative. In extreme emergencies, or RH positive. Then this you have to take care about the about points. Blood transfusion is used usually for the donation of red blood cells, but not for platelets or white blood cells. Because white blood cells, they have short half-life as well as platelets. Even for the donation of white blood cells and platelets, you need fresh blood. Just for example, after 14 days at 4 degrees stored blood, the red, the red blood cells treated show 80% survival 24 hours after transfusion. And thereafter, the survival cells are destroyed at the rate of about 1% per day. Stored blood is not suitable, as we said, for medium or conveying leukocytes, yeah, for transfusion of leukocytes or platelets. idea about the blood groups and the platelets. Let me give examples just to have an idea about the phenotype and genotype of the blood groups. This is the phenotype. A are H positive M and and the mother or the the, the wife B, RH negative, and N. This is the phenotype. Now we'll see the probable example of the probable genotypes. Then you see this is the, this is the phenotype. A, RH positive, and N. This is the first probability. A, A, RH, RH, and N, because both are dominant. And AO, RH, RH, MN, or AA, RH, RH, MN, or AO, RH, RH, MN. Why the mother, this is the phenotype, B, RH negative. B are H negative and N, and N both dominant. Either B, B are H and N, or B, O are H and N. Just to have an idea about the genotype and phenotype in the human being, depending on the blood groups.
No.